YouTube is Zay More Than a Barber, and I'm back with a haircut tutorial. I'm super excited to release this for you guys because it's been a minute since I dropped a haircut tutorial on my channel. Last time I think it was on myself, but we're gonna get straight into this thing, y'all. Drape them up, cape them up, <laughs> and uh. So we gonna start out with my uh, Andis T outliners, and I'm gonna set my first guideline. You see, I'm coming down with it, and like you always say, well, it's a barber rule. If you, whatever you use to put the line in, that's what you're gonna use to take the line out. So if I see a faint line or something, I'll just go back with these and take it out. No problem. Yeah, no. Coming all the way up to the top of that line, just making sure get it all smooth make sure like any dark spots I see where it's a little bit more here because the name of the game when you're fading is cleanliness so we want to make sure that we get this area clean I'm only going to fade half or well, that's really like 70% of the head I'm gonna fade on camera the other part I fade off camera just to save a little camera space and time so now we got my babyless shavers and we're gonna go ahead and bald it out a little bit more just to get that pop to the fade and when I'm using these, as you see, I got the flick of the wrist motion going on. When I get towards the top, like a, about a half an inch before I get to that first guideline, I'm making sure I flick out, which is with the wrist and with the pressure. I'm coming less pressure as I get to the top, just to eliminate making another hard line with them. But if I do see any type of line, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my TI liners with the blade up or down and scrape it until I get that out. I really like these shavers, they're real smooth when they cut. I used to use the Andes, the Andes to me are just as good, but these are just, a, I think the blades themselves, just the way they cut are a little bit smoother. Like clients tell me they feel smoother, so I rock with them. See, I'm brushing to make sure I clear off any debris that might be on the head. You see, I might have, I guess I saw some type of little line, so I'm going back and I'm, I'm cleaning that up. Getting it nice and clean, nice and smooth. All right, now we got my one and a half on my detachables, and we're going against the grain. This is the length we're going to set on top. We use the, um, well, he suggests that we use the one and a half blade because he wants to, the one and a half is always gonna cut closer. Like the one and a half guard and the one and a half blade are two completely different things. This one cuts a lot shorter. This is really compared to a, a wall guard one open, I would say. So we're just going against the grain. Everywhere where his hair grows a different direction, I'm making sure that I go the opposite of that direction. And right here, we got our one blade on, and now we're about to start our first guy line, or our second guy line on the fade. We're going up about a half an inch, and when we're going up with these, I'm flicking out while, I, while I'm still setting an even guy line. Like I said, the cleanliness is gonna make your difference in these fades with these guy lines, with everything. Just making sure everything flows. I don't really like to set in a harsh, harsh guideline I like to blend or fade my guidelines in if that makes sense now we got our 1a blade on since we did it a one and a half on the top we're gonna do the 1a which is a little bit shorter than the one and a half and I'm using that to blend right from my one to one in the, to 1a to one and a half sorry 
So you see, I'm just going, flicking out, getting any that line of demarcation from the one and a half and the one out as much as I can because after that we're gonna come back with the masters. There we go. And the masters right now we're fully open, and we're just gonna make sure we blend that that one A right into that top and into the bottom of that one. And we're gonna use my first notch and my second notch. I'm gonna show us when we get to that point. And then from there, it's just a little bit of lever play. But man, my fading system, this one's a little bit different since we did the one and a half guard against the, system, the uh, grain, but man, you can't mess up with the way I fade, man. And I, and I have control over how I want my fade to look. That's why I start closing with the walls and I slowly work to my, my way up with the fade. To make sure I get that line out perfect while still not messing up my blend, making it real smooth. And you see, I'm going with my TI liners, my slim lines, I mean, just getting out any little demarcation and perfection I see. And here we go with my walls, taking that bottom line out. And I use my walls because the walls cut shorter than the masters when they're all the way closed. Because I'm trying to go from skin to the next level and that next level is the walls all the way closed and I'm just going up enough to see that I cut some hair you don't want to just flick at the line and not actually cut the hair because then you'll never take the line out word to my boy Chris Baccio shout out to him so now we got my masters and we are on that first that second notch from closed we're just working our way up and I like to do the second notch after I go with the walls because if I see any faint line then I could just close it and I know because the walls already was the, the all the way closed guy line and once I do my first and second notches from closed I use I go all the way in the middle with my masters then I use the I use every single notch and I just work my way up and then I cross check blending down and now you see me blending up See, I'm closing it, blending up. Brush one, fade one. Making sure we get this thing all the way together. As y'all can see this fade, you can see that bottom line is already basically out. The fade is already transitioning really nice. That's why I like to take my bottom line out last because I set my one, I blend it, and then I can control exactly how I want my fade to look. Some people really struggle with getting that bottom line out really cleanly, and this is my method of doing it. And a haircut like this, man, this is real quick because, like I said, we did it a one and a half blade up top, so it's not much to blend into, but essentially, as a fade, as a fade, no matter what length you go into, you're just gonna work your levels. All right, we about to get into this lineup now. Got my Slimline Pros, like I said, I like to use on my lineups when I first start, that smaller blade. And with his lineup, I'm just tapping that front and getting those overlapping hairs, and because his corners are a little bit light, so I'm gonna make sure I keep that natural while still making it straight, because we are gonna use color enhancement on this cut. So I just wanna make sure that the foundation of this edge up is right. You see I switch to those blades because they get a little bit closer to the skin so I can get those corners and everything, even though we're gonna go back with the razor. Just to make sure I get everything smooth. I look at them from the front to make sure that I have the edge up straight. I like to always follow my blade where I last edged and look at them from the front to make sure that I'm still going straight as I go to the corners. All right, now we got the hot lather. We're about to do the uh, straight razor edge on them. Man, we had a blast shooting this video, y'all. Y'all don't even know. We <laughs> talking and laughing the whole time. This is my boy right here. He been supporting my YouTube channel since I started. So y'all go check him out at King Flacco 91 I'ma have it down in the in the bio for you all to go check him out. He's a dope barber. Alright, so now we're gonna dab that shaving cream, that lather, and we're gonna wipe it off. 
I just like to use that because it's, it's going to soften the follicle and make it a smoother shave and make sure we don't have any blood or anything. Because sometimes when you take those little bitty hairs out, when you get real detailed, it'll, it'll create a little irritation, little blood dots and stuff like that. So that highlight, they're going to soothe it all and soften the follicle. We're coming back with a little bit of shave gel, and that's what I'm going to use to go ahead and line them up. I'm using Derby Professional Blades, if anybody's wondering. And my just trusty, uh, just a regular good old, I don't like real heavy straight razors, so this one's not too heavy. And I like it, I've been rocking with this one for a minute. You always wanna just make sure you check your symmetry. That's what you see me doing as I look at it from different angles, making sure that when I'm doing this razor that I'm keeping the same edge and not accidentally going back. Because sometimes, especially with this type of client, this type of texture, you can find yourself, when you have a moon back, pushing the edge up back and giving them that, that, that McDonald's edge up on accident after you already set your edge in with the clipper. So just follow your clipper work and clean off all those hairs that the clippers couldn't get close enough to get. Right, we're gonna lean them forward. All done with the razor. <laughs> That's my board, man. As you see, that fade's already looking really good. All right, now for the color enhancement. I'm using Kiss Express. This is brown mixed in with a little bit of black, 70% alcohol. And in this case, with most cases, less is more. I'm gonna say it again, less is more. You see, when I spray it, I like to go like like little taps, just tss, 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 and I'm gonna see what I'm working with. And make sure, make sure when you're doing this color enhancement that you lay that card perfectly because if you're off in a tad bit, it's gonna make your already straight edge up look not straight. And it's hard to wipe off the color and go back. You'll be going in circles, and it, it's always best to just get the color enhancement right the first time. So boom, we all done, man. Y'all check out the cut, spraying them off. A little bit of my uh, aftershave it smells really good, man. This new stuff I got right now. Cleaning off the neck, getting it all clean. Well, y'all see it, man. Highball fade on my boy Juan. As you see right there, that's the way his hair grows, where he looks like he got that little moon in the front. That's just the way his, his hair grows. But we got him in the game, man. I'm glad everybody came to tune in. Subscribe, like, comment. I'm out.